Hey guys, it's Eric at Prestige. I wanted to show you guys a little something that we've been working on. What we have here is a set of AFR's 457cc Magnum heads. These are for a big block Chevrolet. It's an 18 degree cylinder head. And we're using these on a 665 cubic inch build that we're doing here at the shop. Now, this particular build that we're working on utilizes an 11-1 deck block. So this is a tall deck block. And the intake manifold that we selected for this build is actually designed for a 10.2 block. So that posed a little bit of an issue as far as manifold fitting to cylinder heads. So what we've done is we've machined these custom spacer plates in order to adapt the 10.2 manifold to our 11.1 block. Now, as far as sealing these plates to the cylinder head as well as the intake manifold, there's a couple of options. The easy way would be to use a paper, paper gasket between the cylinder head flange and the spacer plate, and then also between the spacer plate and the intake manifold. The thing you have to remember is the intake manifold is machined at an angle. So as you tighten the fasteners, the manifold wants to move. Take that times two with a paper gasket, one on each side of the spacer plate. We really weren't comfortable with the fact that our ports would still be aligned properly once we torqued the manifold in place. So what we elected to do was machined O-ring grooves in both the cylinder head and this custom spacer plate. Now what that does is, is first of all, with the O-ring between the cylinder head flange and the spacer plate, this plate actually bolts on straight. So the, the bolts that go in here are straight in, they're not at an angle. So the the accuracy of lining up this spacer plate with the intake port is, is very precise. Now when it comes to torquing the intake manifold to this, the key with the O-ring is you get repeatability as far as position of the intake manifold once the tighteners are torqued. With a paper gasket, every time you compress that paper gasket, it's going to change position slightly. With the O-ring, you're basically coming down metal to metal and the O-ring is just being squished in between the two metal pieces. So it's a lot more precise and more of a positive seal. So also you can see that we added O-rings to the exhaust flange as well. Now again, what this does for us is it allows us to have more of a metal, metal to metal contact between the header flange and the cylinder head flange. And all you're doing is compressing this O-ring in between the two. If you use a composite gasket, you think about you have a header mounted on this with exhaust, uh, whether you're driving, racing, uh, this particular combination is going in an airboat, so you're out on the water. Over time, that composite gasket will begin to, to squish in different ways and allow the torque setting on those bolts to loosen up, and ultimately you have an exhaust leak. With the metal-to-metal -metal contact, the torque setting on your bolts really doesn't have anything that can that you're squishing in between, so you have a less likely chance of losing the torque setting on your header bolts. So again, just a, just a quick preview of what we're able to do here, why we use the spacer plates, and then also why we chose to go with an O-ring rather than a paper gasket in between. Uh, if you have a build in mind that you're looking for a company that can offer this type of service to you, we're your company, give us a call at 704 782-7170 or you can send us a message through our website at prestigemoto.com.